Welcome to How to IMBU. I am user Decaffeinate, and I am going to show you two different ways you can make your own hair textures. Now, firstly, what you want to do is find the hair you want to derive or derive. I don't know how you say it. Someone help me out here. And you can do basically whatever you want to find the hair, or you can do what I do. I either go to shop or and find a hair that I like and that's a nice hair but I'm not going to use that one or if you already have a hair in your um, clothing and you just want to change the color then you can go ahead and just look for that hairstyle I'm going to use this one here it is something brown by someone go ahead and click that it will take you right there as you know and some people like to hate you and take off their duration or derived I don't know how you say it. So all you have to do is just find derived from and click who is derived from. Simple as that. Okay. And now derived from product. Okay. Now, if you don't already know, you can stop your Abby from looking like a devil. Jesus. Wow. And go ahead and choose an outfit or a clothing, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now that you have the hair, what you need is the color. Or you can go ahead and just push save and upload and steal someone else's color. Plagiarism, guys. Not okay. Anyway. So the first one I'm going to show you is just one color. So we're going to go ahead and open GIMP. And you can go ahead and click File and New, RCTRL plus N. And make sure that the width and height is 256 by 256. Make sure it's that. Now that you have it, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in full. I'm going to pick a random color. Let's go, let's go with red. Why not? And go ahead and fill in the white. Okay. And now you're going to go to filters, noise, RGB noise. You can use correlated noise, or you cannot use correlated noise, or you can use independent RGB, or you cannot use independent RGB. It doesn't really matter. I use correlated noise because why not? And I usually put it around, you know, 10, 20, around there because if it's just, you can be daring and use one if you would like. But that's, that's what you want to do. Go ahead and push OK. And then you're going to want to push filters again and go to blur this time push mo motion blur now I usually put the angle around 275 or 271 sorry 271 because the angle is nice and straight and the length you can use or put any number you really want besides one because why would you want your hair to look like that actually I'm going to show you hair looking like that. Where is it? Do I change? Yeah, look at that. That's that's not what you want. <laughs> anyway, let's just go back to that. Okay. And then you can just choose what you want. I usually choose around this, like seventy two or higher, you know, whatever suits you. I'm going to use 69. Why not? That's who I am today. <laughs> and now we're going to add a little bit of shine to it. So we're going to add a layer, quick layer. And if you don't, if this doesn't pop up when you open the gym, just put CTRL plus L and then the layers will pop up. See, just CTRL L not popping up okay there we go ok 
Okay, new layer. You can change the layer name if you want to. I don't really care. Make sure it's transparent. Okay. And make sure it's also clicked on there. Now switch the color to white. And then get the paintbrush, change the brush to this one. And you can have any size you want. I like around two or three. It's that big. And just make a line straight through. Straight through. It doesn't have to be, you know, completely straight, but if you want it to be straight, just click outside wherever you want to start it. Push shift. Take it straight across and click. And it's just like that. Okay. Now, uh, make sure it's still on the new layer and click filters again. Layer. I use, I don't know how to pronounce that, Gaussian something, whatever. I use this blur. But if you want to be like most people, you can use motion blur. But I use this one. I prefer this one. Just change. Blur. I use in the 40s, like 40 to 49. That's what I use. I think it's better, in my opinion. And then go ahead and click on this little tab here. Push overlay. And it's not really visible, but you can see, and around these lines, it gets brighter. That's the shine. And then you can push file. Say that. Um. Red. Make sure to put .jpg. Always make sure to put that. And then when this pops up, push export. And then you can change the quality if you want. And then save. I already have one saved, so I'm just going to show you how one color looks. Remember, it's bright red. It's not going to look alright on this quite well. That's what it looks like. It looks better than the noise test one that I used earlier. Obviously, bright red is not the right color that I should have used, but it's just a tutorial. Okay, now the other way I'm going to show you is ombre. That one is always fun. Okay, just DTRL in for new. Make sure it's 25, 256 by 256. Okay, I'm going to make that big again. What I like to do is find a color to go by. So we're going to go ahead and just type in ombre hair images. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Kinda like this one. Actually I really like this one. So I'm gonna make an opera hair look like that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make that smaller so I can and then, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and find the color that matches. Fill. This is really dark brown, which is going to go on the top, obviously. And then, I like to get the paintbrush. And then, get a different color. Uh, use this one. Little right to new and just nope. Oh, make sure to change that brush. And pink looks like I already have pink. That will go great with that. Okay. And 
what I like to do. I don't think if anyone else does this. I like to use a smudge tool before I do anything and just go down. For the pink, go up. Sometimes hair can have a little bit pink more farther up, like so. Now you go back to what you were doing earlier. Just oh, noise, RGB noise. Add that noise, it's a little bit too much noise for me. Wait. Filter, blur, motion blur. Once again, that's perfect. Exactly what I want. Filters, oh, sorry, that was wrong. New layer, switch, and brush, change the brush this time. Okay. Actually, I just want to shine down here. Filters, layer. Whatever that's pronounced <laughs> as make it a little bit lower. Okay. Off of the see how it's brighter. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and save it. Save as um gray. Export. Hundred. Why not? Save. Cool. Now that it's saved, here. Yeah. Test it out. Hopefully, it looks nice. All right. Apply changing. And there you go. There is your ombre hair. Now you can make the pink a little bit lower, and you can also make it darker, or you can add another layer, put a little bit lighter down there. You can do whatever you want to the hair, but this is just basic. Okay? And that is how you make one color and ombre hair textures. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please tell your friends or subscribe. If you have any questions, either friend me or I me you or just write it below in the comments. It doesn't really matter. Um, again, thanks for watching. Bye.